I'm, I'm living and working in Svalbard, which is an archipelago in the Arctic Circle, and it's home to a little more than 1500 glaciers. And I'm really interested in understanding what are the climatic and um, geometric controls on glacier mass balance, basically whether the glaciers are growing or shrinking and how fast. And, you know, the glaciers and small ice caps like the ones here in Svalbard volumetrically are just dwarfed by the, the amount of ice in the Greenland and, and, and Antarctic ice sheets, but they're melting a lot faster. So these kinds of small glaciers and ice caps, they're contributing to sea level rise just as much. You know, I would say probably a central goal of, of earth science right now is trying to understand the forcings and the feedbacks in the climate system with the intention of making better predictions for, for the future for climate change. And the kinds of observations that we have in the instrumental record, like weather stations, and in my case with this Svalbard project, historical images, those are incredible data sets, but they only go back maybe a couple hundred years. And so that's just sampling, you know, a tiny fraction of Earth history. You know, one thing that's kind of special about geoscience is, is that, you know, the, the observations and the laboratory is basically the world that you live in. So, you know, once you start taking geology and geomorphology classes, then, you know, looking at an out of an airplane window is sort of never the same again.